A little bit less effective than Dr. Tobias and InnoCleanse, but I would say it's a little bit more effective than Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on this Body Gold Colon Cleanse. I don't know if you guys have been following my channel, but I use some sort of colon cleanse or laxative pretty much on the regular in small doses. I try to mix up the supplements that I take so I'm not you know, relying on one thing and I try as much natural things as possible. So my favorite colon cleanse definitely by far has been the Inno Cleanse. Now I ordered it probably four to five times in a row. I absolutely love it. it is it's just so freaking expensive that although it's been my go-to, I actually haven't ordered it in a couple months because I've been trying all these different kinds. Inno Cleanse, it's just for some reason, it just feels extra special. It just gets a little more out of me from the times that I've used it, again, for months straight. So anyways, guys, let's jump into this colon cleanse product. I'm gonna go over the ingredients really quick here. I'll try to put them on screen. So you got Chinese rhubarb. I'm not really sure what that is. Black walnut now that's in quite a bit of colon cleanse products aloe vera that's really good for the stomach also in a lot of colon cleanse products cascara sagrada now that's pretty much a known stimulant laxative that i find pretty effective i find that senna is a little bit more effective but they also have senna in here that's the next thing that comes up and i actually like them synergistically because they're supposed to kind of irritate your stomach and get more out of you and I find that they have more of a balanced effect when used together. So I like that they're in here. I wish we had some idea of how much they're putting for each thing because it's a proprietary blend. They could have one milligram of it or they could have 300. We have no idea. Organ grape roots. Now I use grape seed extract. I love grape seed extract. Grapes in general are good. I'm not really sure how that's specifically supposed to help constipation, but it's in here nonetheless. Yellow Doc. Now Yellow Doc, I have seen quite a bit. I'll try to make sure to put supplement facts on all these for the video, but I've heard of that quite a bit. I know that it's definitely used in stomach cleanses, colon cleanses, not in every one, but it definitely has been used in some colon cleanse products that I've tried. Valerian root. Now this is the first time I've seen valerian root in a colon cleanse. I didn't know it was for colon cleansing. Um, valerian root is a known natural herb to help you fall asleep. I used to use it all the time. It's great. I still recommend it if you want something to help you go to sleep. Valerian is great. It just has this effect where it doesn't really work every single day, but if you wait two, three days, take it, wow, does it work. But anyways, no idea how much they put in here, but um, you got Valerian the first time I've seen it in a colon cleanse product. Okay, Slippery Elm, that's in a lot of colon cleanse products, for sure in InnoCleanse and Zupu. Normally they use that Acidophilus version, but here they have Bacillus Coag, I can't pronounce that, I'll put it on screen, but they have a different version of a digestive enzyme, which I like because all these colon cleanse products seem to just copy and paste each other. So one of the reasons that I was actually interested in this product was they use capsules. It was relatively affordable for the amount of pills you get, 75. And the last thing was that it really was unique to any other colon cleanse product that I've come across. It wasn't trying to be cheap. It wasn't trying to copy something that I know. Now for the effects. So I've been on this stuff for about a week now taking varying dosage. They say to take um, I think one veggie cap at night or every single day to maintain regularity. For me, I have a lot of issues with my stomach. I might have parasites, it's a possibility. I also you know, eat a lot of food that's gonna slow my stomach down. I have a lot of salt and I use Kratom and Kratom has this terrible side effect of really slowing my stomach down. And over the last week or two, I've had much more Kratom than I'm used to having. Still not every single day, still not extreme doses, but much more than I'm used to having. So I don't know how much that skewed the results here, but I would say it's a little more effective than super colon cleanse. I would say it's a little more effective than super cleanse, but I would say it's probably a little less effective than inno cleanse and a little bit less effective than Dr. Tobias slash Dr. Bo. Dr. Bo and Dr. Tobias, they're essentially the exact same product. I really enjoyed this product. It didn't wow me as much as Zupu. It didn't get as much out of me as something like Dr. Tobias. 
but it also wasn't as aggressive as Dr. Tobias was. And I don't really have too much stomach aches on this product. It's got a very nice stomach ache to evacuation ratio. Sometimes if you take a lot of the wrong kind of laxatives, you have a really painful effect and you won't even be getting very much out. It'll just be very painful. I really like the blend here. There is going to be some slight discomfort probably, but I would say compared to all the other ones, it's definitely mild. And especially if you take one, like I wouldn't expect any stomach ache, maybe just a little bit of rumbles right before things happen, but super cleanse, I really like it. I don't know how much I paid for it. I'll go ahead and put that on screen, but what kind of colon cleanse products are you trying? Have you tried this super cleanse? Have you tried any other products that were great? I want to hear about it down below. But anyways, guys, we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. Having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.